Hello, everyone, and welcome to the season finale of New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, your chuggy millennial gay uncle, Stephen Pope, uh, here for our final episode of the season. Ah, there's been so much, and there's still so much to get done. I'll, I don't know how I'm going to manage it, but it will be very, very amusing. Uh, before we get into our usual bring a roll, let's meet our table, starting with they have moved to the countryside and met a forest spirit who uh, grows trees. It's Critical Bard. I, I <laughs> thought you were talking about Gabe, Gabe, Gabe James there for a second. That is very true. <laughs> it was Totoro. Totoro. <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard, uh, here for the finale. Uh, sorry, uh, neighbors, of New Pantheon Academia. Uh, very excited to be here. I'm an active vocalist, hot mess incarnate. And today, for hopefully not the final time, I will be playing Koame Akinyemi, the uh, uh, the uh, captain of the basketball team, poet extraordinaire, silver tongued, um, not, not member. Not silver no noted. Yeah, yes, definitely not silver noted at all, and not uh, a member of the school safety squad. With the divinity, Anansi, the West African trickster, god of stories. Spider. Mm -hmm. Love it. I love it. You're welcome. Next up, they travel to a new town in order to open up a delivery service, and they have a talking cat. It's Aki. Oh, I get to be the delivery service? Cool. Yep. Ah, I see what the theme of today's introductions are. I got it. I got it. Hi, everybody. I am Aki, and I play Emancipation Brown, or uh, Manny for short. Uh, their divinity is Ma'at. The goddess of truth, justice, and harmony, um, they are the ones who uh, look over denial. And I feel as though they spend a lot of time staring at Kwame because of it, because he's always there. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, we're going to see how things go in this finale, because boy, howdy, do we have a lot of stuff to get done. <laughs> And you have a Loki to talk to, so that's going to be fun. Loki, my baby boy. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, they're visiting a castle in the sky. It's mostly Eric. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Uh, it, uh, this castle also moves, uh, right? Or is that a different one? There are a couple of different like yeah. Castle, I was like I was like uh, that one's not as descriptive. There's a number of it. I was like there are two movies that feature yeah. castles in the sky. Yeah. All right. Anyways, hi, I am Eric. I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, former captain of the football team and now man about town uh, and just kind of living his best life as best as he can. And he currently has uh, the Sumerian goddess of beer, Ninkasi, living with inside of him. As, as well as the hearts of several of his classmates. Yeah, everyone think I don't know who. Everyone loves a himbo. That's all I'm going to say. Everyone loves a himbo. And last, but certainly not least, uh, she's shacking up with a, a wizard with a tight butt and uh, way too big of an ego. It's R.I.P. Mika. Yes! Get that help! Do it. Wow, all right. Um, hi, I'm R.I.P. Mika. I am fighting a bit of a headache today, so I'm going to try to rally. Uh, the Tylenol is working its way through my bloodstream, but... Calcifer is going to make me some pizza soon, so that'll yeah. be nice. <laughs> Might I uh, suggest drinking something with a little bit of caffeine that will help jumpstart? I think it's a caffeine thing because I had a lot yeah. of Starbucks yesterday. Yeah. Um, like a tiny bit of caffeine is a, is a hair of the dog that bit you kind of situation. It'll make you feel yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I played Dolly Wingrove. Um, she's our lovable little theater kid who is the... Uh, underling of Persephone, goddess of the underworld. I mean, who wouldn't want to be Persephone's underling? She's also been in feature films um, at this point, so she's never going to let that go. Co-starred <laughs> with Jason Satham. She's <laughs> been on screen near where he was. <laughs> you know what? She's so valid. You gotta love it. So, uh, once again, this is the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show. Only on Saving Throw Show. If you're watching this anywhere else, it's not Saving Throw Show. What are you doing? You're doing it wrong. Uh, we uh, we are powered by Overarms by Rookie Jet Games. Check out their other titles, including Boncho Neko, where you play as a gangster cat. 
I cannot hype how cool that game is. Uh, now, we are aiming for two dollars for $250 in tips an episode or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges. It pays the staff, it pays us, and it makes it so you might get new shows. Actually, there's no might. Like, if we get enough money, we can make new shows and we want to make more stuff for you. So please, it helps us a lot and it's very much appreciated. Your tips also help unlock story tiers, which can range from, I don't know, an in-character 5e one-shot or uh, the Rabbit Rangers helping where they're most needed. So it's very appreciated. Thank you. Uh, for $15, 1,500 bits, or five gift subs, you can send us a message that our uh, canonical uh, school secretary who fucks will read live on air. I'm not going to get over that. We'll you never guys, stop being brain. awkward. I think, I think, I think we're, and I know it's focused, my fault. You focus too much on as she. She's a woman who is like it's not her singular personality trait it just happens to be a part of her life aspect of what she, who she i get is. that and i respect that it doesn't change the fact you've that never brought up life. once her macrame she macrames uh what? did you even ask i guess not i guess not this is on me what do we actually know about gladys what do you actually know about gladys steven yeah what is gladys's backstory we're gonna have to learn that one day maybe that could how about this? We raised five hundred dollars this episode. We'll talk about Gladys's very elaborate and highly detailed backstory. Okay, here for it. Uh, now we do want to send some big love to our sponsors, Roll Twenty and Die Hard Dice. Roll Twenty is a virtual tabletop that you can use with any browser. It is a wonderful tool. It can be used for setting, music, uh, battle maps. There are a lot of uses for it, and it's super easy. So thank you, Roll20. I cannot hype this product enough. And we also want to send some love to our friends at Die Hard Dice. Uh, if you use the code Saving Throw Show at checkout, look at Aki's Dice. You can have the same set of dice, but cheaper because you get 10% off your order. Yeah. You can also buy Critical Bards Dice. Shit! They're here somewhere. Dramatic effect. No. That's somewhere else right now. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can check them out yourself on Die Hard Dice. If you use the co code Saving Throw Show at checkout for 10% off your order, or if you're in the chat live with us now, exclamation point DH Dice. <laughs> Rump was staring at me like, what is happening? <laughs> I love that right guy. there. He's, you can see kind of on top. <laughs> He's sitting like, what are you doing? He is the blurriest little blob and i love him <laughs> and hey if you are if you're watching us on youtube or listening to us as a podcast thank you so much like we're sorry you couldn't be here live but we still super appreciate love you you are valid and you're amazing uh just remember comment subscribe whole nine yards we're still trying to get that uh cell phone game sponsorship that every show should have and Simpsons hey, tapped out. Uh, Simpsons tapped out, exactly. <laughs> Stacky Dash. There you go. And lastly, please consider joining our Patreon and be a part of the new Exploration Society. Uh, we have amazing rewards. Pins, swag, merch discounts, me and the Hobbit. It's great. So make sure to check it out today. You can also get Max Isaacson Ruined My Life t-shirts and other cool gear and swag from the, the show you know and love, All Games, No Masters. <laughs> I I didn't know you guys had merch already. That's awesome. We have we have well, exactly one merch, and it is Max Isaacson Ruined My Life. <laughs> okay, I'm buying that one. All right. So last week. Our special musical episode. Go check that out if you haven't already after this. But... Lol. <laughs> uh, it was a very fun day for the school safety squad. They did not have a giant monster attack, but they did sing and express themselves. And they ate Salisbury steak, which I would still slap any of you for. 
All right. I can't find any in Los Angeles. It is driving me to madness. You have to like basically go into the frozen food section and you know, get a hungry own a, man dinner. Get a hungry man dinner. And like, yes. It's not the same. Okay. No, 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 no. no. It is Steven, it is exactly what we want. We that don't want exactly good shit. Want. No, 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 want no, 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 no. You all got it twisted. I didn't say I want good shit. I said I want a Salisbury steak, but I want a Salisbury steak from a cafeteria. And okay. you're saying that a banquet frozen dinner Salisbury not... steak is not from a cafeteria? Literally a cafeteria meal. It doesn't hit the same. It, it doesn't hits, hit the same. It hit, it's my exactly dad's favorite same. meal in the entire world. Ain't like, nothing like, like a banquet microwavable Salisbury steak. No, no, Get the one with the picture of the, 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 the penguin on it. It comes with a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hungry man. Oh no, that's um that's no, that's kid one. Kid cuisine. cuisine. Oh, kid cuisine. That's the yes. one you want. Yes. <laughs> Whew, we're still on this Salisbury bullshit. Catch us every 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 Sunday at four for that time. <laughs> I can't handle this. Anyway. You realized, thanks to uh, Manny's ability to kind of sift through the lies of reality and through process of elimination, uh, you were able to find who has the six scarecrow possessing them. And, but right before you went to go explore, you were stopped by a new student with uh, black hair with shocks of orange in it. And a face that you just kind of want to punch. Loki. Not me. Yes, Loki seemed to seem to arrive. And they also seem to not be on the same timeline as you. A damn variant. We got ourselves some sacred timeline. That apparently Steven had planned before Marvel did. Canonically. Whoop, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, oh, we're fighting? We're fighting Loki. Oh, good. I get to destroy the trickster. No. You leave my friend alone. No. <laughs> oh, we're friends. Please? That's unexpected. I'm not mad about it. It's just unexpected for me. You're a really good friend of mine, though it takes you a really long time to admit it. Hmm. You also gave us some really neat powers, but I won't tell you what you gave us so that, you know, you don't, like... You'll, you'll get creative. Sound right. So what are you doing here? This is weird. Last time I saw you, you were a rabbit. Didn't really care for you. Now oh, you're yeah. not a rabbit. You kind of look different. You're, you're a rabbit right now. In I'm a here. rabbit. Yeah, you look pretty much exactly the same as you do now, but for some reason you're a rabbit. We haven't figured out why. Oh, yeah, I probably pissed him off. Identity. Or well, he went by Orpheus, but then he went by Morpheus, and he was a rabbit, and he died. Ah, uh, we both pissed him off. Good to pissed know. who off? Hmm. Let's see. What's today's date? Never mind. What? Don't worry about that. Um, he's not in a cast, and none of you are dead. And that one over there hasn't tripped. So, oh. I know where we are. Okay, good. I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. Who's yes. not in the cast and who's not a dead? And what exactly are you speaking of? You're not dead. That's the important part. Um, uh, well, he, can you like back this up a little bit and take it slow? Mm, I would, but I'm trying to explain myself. So one thing at a time, please. Uh, if we are friends, you'll understand. I don't really like to... I like to do things at my own pace. Uh, but more importantly, uh, one, the All-Father. Not my father. Or my adopted father. Right. Not him. Mm -hmm. But the other All-Father. Uh, let's see. Have you dealt with the woman? The, uh, the Phantom the, Queen? Yes, thank you. So you have dealt with her already? She was the first thing we dealt with. Good, good. I'm glad. Okay. She was definitely the first puppet. Then her husband would be the second puppet. And he's ran out. Let's see. Yes, he's run out of puppets. Good, good. Um, hmm. 
So we only had two puppets. That seems kind of um, like a bad plan for an all father. Well, the puppets were mostly just to keep himself entertained. Oh. It's all about that. Uh, that, that I don't claim to be the smartest individual, but... Mm, I get the vibe you do sometimes. <sighs> yeah, you, you like straight well, up texted that to the group like yesterday. I would say that Kwame thinks he's the coolest of us. Well, look, if I, I text things when I have a bit of... um. Um, look, it's not my fault I asked for water and you gave me spicy water. Anywho, um, we still don't know who this old father is. Oh, okay. That's where we, that's where you're at. I'm at a very different point of this book, but good, good. I'm glad. Book? It's all a story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking dead at a Nazi. Excuse me? He has up a little sign saying, you never asked? For the question no, the no, answer. I will take this sign and I will rip it in half. <laughs> you talk now. I don't entirely know what he means. But I have an idea, maybe, if you can tell me the tone of my voice. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my gosh. If you feel so inclined to give this information that I have been trying to figure out for the past couple of weeks now, that would be pretty helpful, Anansi, king of stories. Okay, so, uh, all right. Oh, um, rich white boy, real quick. What do they always say when, uh, what do they say about the history books? Um... Uh, yes. Uh, history is always written by the winners. Oh, exactly. that's it. History is generally a story. He story, it, it's part of the thing. So if I'm not mistaken, he's kind of just traveling through history, uh, more or less living out the story, seeing how it goes. Kind of like he's either third party, like there's you, and there's, there's, there's where I come from, and then there's there and where is there how should i know i'm a spider that was very um enlightening okay so i'm not sure i understand what what it is that we're supposed to i mean we obviously need to go and take care of this last um, uh, demon, but then what? Well, after you destroy the last scarecrow, you will either die a horrible death or... Why do you keep saying that? Oh, because I definitely know a lot about that. Horrible deaths, I mean. But... More than likely, you are going to open up the door. And he's going to come out. The Allfather, that is. And after he's out, well, he'll need to be entertained. That's where you come in. And what exactly... Do we need to do to entertain him? Well, that's a good question. When you live outside of, you know, reality, as we all know it, uh, you kind of get a little strange with your taste. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's I'm not right. sure we don't like each other because I get the vibe. I don't care for you, no. Um, I'm, 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 mm. It's just that you're being really vague, and it's kind of difficult to um, to parse what you mean by what exactly do you mean? Um, I mean, you're saying his tastes are otherworldly, but that doesn't really help us put into scope what you mean. Um, do you have examples? Um, can you show your work? 
Hmm. Examples, examples, examples. Because, like, honestly, at this point, it kind of feels like you're like doing this to to make yourself feel better than us, and not like give us information. Oh, well, I am. It's a hundred percent that. Thank you. I'm glad you understand. I am. Anansi, cool. question: How, um, Trickster, Trickster, can you uh, write other tricksters out of existence? Considering you came first, I think you probably could, but I want to ask. You know, I haven't tried, but we should give that a shot. Can we wait until after we've gotten the information that we need? Okay. Fine. And besides, okay. if we write him out of history, then none of the things that we need to happen that he's in, he's a part of making happen will happen. So I'm sorry, call me. Uh, no, we are not writing Loki out of history. Yet. Uh That's, uh, that's not fine, rump. And Nancy immediately turns into a pouty teenage spider. He turns into teen Groot. <laughs> He's got like a little Game Boy and a hat. I don't care. Can you at least tell us the name of the old father so we can do our own research? Correct research. So we... As the school safety squad can protect this place. Okay. Mostly because you just admitted to being part of this team, and I find that amusing. Okay. He has many names. The Devil. Beel well, not Beelzebub. That's a very different man. Um, Lord of Darkness... Satan, I suppose. Lucifer. Uh, well, that's a that's one of his names. Uh, basically, well, Lucifer was more of a fall guy than actually what this man is. But all the bad, all the human concept of bad, really started with him. Hades. No, he's more of a simp. We don't like that word very much for him. Persephone, behind in the back of your head, you hear Persephone go, "No, no, no! It, it, it's not an accurate. No, he's definitely a wife guy." I mean, we love that word for him. Yeah, it just feels like that—that's one of the many words that was invented to hate women. Uh, so you know, maybe like choose a different one. Fair. He—he he is. He has drunk his respect women's juice. Anyways, uh, Lucifer, however, is an agent of chaos and an obscure of the truth. Prince of lies, yes. And is he seeking to end it all, or is he just trying to have fun, which in turn will end it all? Or If I was a betting man, or if I was a man at all, really, I would say... Yeah. Great. So how does four individuals with divinities defeat the progenitor of evil? You have to stop Armageddon? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I call it Ragnarok, but Armageddon is a good term for it. Yes. That will be your job. Uh, can I at least invoice someone for this? Because if we survive, I feel like I need... You know, um, I have an idea. emotional damage fees. Um, we I need ask our. We should ask doctor the doctor to refund all of our student tuition. Pizza fees. Um, I need. I mean, do you need white people trying like, my patient fees? No, I could, no. Don't give me any money, Lenny. Let me have my moment. No, 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 no. no. He doesn't speak for both of us. He does not speak for both of us. Oh, okay, because I because I only got like because they only let you take like two hundred dollars out. I, I I do accept checks. Oh, uh, I don't I don't have a checkbook. Uh, do you do you have a square? Uh, Anansi pulls out a smartphone with a little square dongle. Yes, I do. And, and I like yes. I just press Anansi down. <laughs> just go away. Stop it. 
<sighs> Loki oh. gives a bit of a smile. Yes. Armageddon. Ragnarok. The end times. They're coming. Do you at least know when? Do we have a chance to like say goodbye to our loved ones or something? Because I feel like this is just, hey, you know, evil's coming and you're going to suffer. Ha 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 ha. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Well, evil is coming. All over the place, really. But uh, you're not going to die, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. <laughs> Let's work on our phrasing just a little. Bit. <laughs> I'm glad someone picked it up. No, we picked it up very quickly. <laughs> huh. we both were like, oh. I was like, I'm gonna say, I, I was like, I have an opportunity, and I can say this, and I'm gonna see if anyone actually calls me on it because I get called all, I get called out all the time, and I just want <laughs> this time. I was like, please, please, I want to see it. I want it to happen. Mm. That would be so funny. Anywho. Anyway. I'm here to make sure you don't die. And what exactly will you do? Whatever's required of me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go betray someone and then bet and then betray them again to be re-betrayed. And apparently turned myself into a rabbit, so um, Manny, was it? Yes. It's very nice to meet you. I look forward to our friendship. I look forward to it too, or backwards to it. <laughs> With that, Loki uh, excuses himself from the cafeteria. As Loki leaves, I take out my phone um, and I guess start to swipe. And then everyone gets to text, the three of them including, it's because it's a group text. Also to Nick, Kim, Dr. Wang, Dr. Ash, um, even uh, our friend across the seas. <laughs> um, anyone with a divinity, please meet in Dr. Ash's office. Parentheses. Sorry, Dr. Ash, I am taking your office. On parentheses. We need to have a talk now. It doesn't take long for everyone to gather at Dr. Ash's clock tower office. Looking over the North Point uh, campus, it is a shockingly beautiful day out. Uh, you but are joined even, by everyone. Right before this, I say, I don't want to take over your time, but I feel like this is a very important conversation. You know, we might be losing our lives. It's cool. It's great. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. No, I don't mind like a like a, a powwow or whatever, because like I'll be honest, uh, I didn't understand a word of what was happening, uh, so I just kind of like so sat we out. Have, we've basically been tasked with stopping the apocalypse, the ending of all days, apparently orchestrated by the devil himself. Hey, but you know, good thing is, uh, if we fell, Manny, you stay alive, which is what we needed. Why? That's what Loki said. I, I'm not gonna let any of you die. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing my job if I, if I let you all die. My whole thing is I'm supposed to protect you. Doctor Ash stands up from his desk. None of you are going to die. I mean, I, I appreciate the, the well, confidence, but die that, one like, day. yeah. Everyone dies, like, eventually or whatever? I'm not going to let you die on a battlefield. Who says it's going to be a battlefield, Dr. Ash? It could be, I don't know, Wendy's. Ma'am. Kim, Kim looks at you and kind of cocks a brow. Wendy's? I don't even like Wendy. I did, I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm, random things are coming out. I'm stressed. This is my stress face. Looks like a normal face. I know. I'm an actor. Not really. She's an actor. I just, I'm naturally charismatic. Shut up! Nick uh, toddles over to you and just kind of hands you a cup of coffee. Kwame. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. 
So on a, oh, sorry, go ahead, Kwame. On, on a real note, it is obvious that uh, we, not just the four of us, we're not the only ones with divinities here. Um, we have something to do, and it's going to be pretty big if this is Lucifer, you know, like evil incarnate, you know, coming to have some fun, which is probably going to be the end of reality. We're only kids. How do we do this, Dr. Ash? You fight. You win. I don't have any magical words of wisdom for this. The Jade Ember is behind you. I think they might have some words of wisdom. <laughs> If you want, I can remove your divinities. You go back to being regular students, and I'll take care of this with Dr. Wang. That doesn't seem like a great idea either. Yeah, that was like a like a a big jump. Nobody was like saying anything. We're like, hey, can we get some advice? And you're all like, I'm gonna take away your powers. Like that's not like it's not a threat I'm offering. This is we don't feel threatened by it. We just think it's an extreme, a stream jump from, hey, do you have any words of advice for us? <sighs> to, no, let's just skip advice altogether and just uh, make the offer to take it away. It also kind of did the opposite of what we were asking. We were asking for encouragement and you, instead of giving us encouragement, you said, we actually don't need your help because me and Miss Wang can handle it. So really, what are we doing here, Dr. Ash, if you're not going to give us encouragement and try to help us fight this fight? He takes a deep breath, and you all know when an adult is trying very hard not to yell at a child. And this is one of those times. None of you should be in this situation. Too late. I know. I know, Emancipation. I know. All I can really offer is I will be there. Dr. Wang will be there and the rest of your friends will be there. And we will do everything in our power and I will not rest until I find every bit of information you need for this situation. And I have asked my divinity, I've asked the Jade Emperor, what he knows and what he thinks, and he has gone silent. If even a king or an emperor is scared of the truth, that doesn't make me um, confident. Doesn't make me very confident either, uh, Mr. Akinyemi. Huh, okay. Um, we still don't know how long we have, so can we just, you know, be normal students until it happens? I was just about to say, you guys want to go get some ice cream or something? Yeah, I, I want to stuff my face with some, some, some chocolate ice cream infused with habanero. That's mm. what I want. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's like chocolate cinnamon. It's very, very... I want the strawberry vinegar one. Ooh. That sounds white. white. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds fun to me. I'm down for whatever. What do you say, Letty? You want some ice cream? Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm honestly. I'm like got a craving for rhubarb ice cream, which like they don't have it in America all that much. I know a place that's got like these really fun artisanal flavors. Might get their label in cello. Is it um the the new place that resurrected that resurrected that was erected in and across the mall uh, mm, gin yeah, and berries? Yeah. Gotcha. Let's go to gin and berries. The four I, of you 
as, we as, invite as, anyone to everybody else can come with us if they want to. Oh yeah, you know, even even Zoya, like, come on. Um, but except for Dr. Ash. Except for Dr. Ash, exactly. Bad vibes today. We can't come. Dr. Ash and Dr. Wang stay behind. We do that really them. passive aggressive teen thing where we're texting everyone but them in the room <laughs> with them, asking them if they want to come with us. Yeah. Manny introduces Kwame to Helen, who is awesome. <laughs> miss you, Bria. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I miss her so much. Um, well, you all arrive at the ice cream parlor, and Kim looks down at her monstrosity, which is like cotton candy, vinegar, uh, anchovy or something. Even she's not sure what she got. So what the fuck are we going to do? I mean, I'm not... We've had the conversation at the summer house. I'm not giving up my divinity. It's just not happening. But um, while we need, I know we need to help. You already died once. I don't think it would be fair for you to die again. So if you don't want to do this, I get it. Listen, if it's an apocalypse, if it's an apocalypse style event, it doesn't really matter if I don't want to die again. It looks like it's on the table. So I might as well go out swinging. Lenny, trade ice creams with me. This thing sucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. The minute I see Lenny take that, I just like whisper over to Anansi, can I please get a freebie? And you just make Lenny's breath smell better after this. I, I'll do that for both of us. I'll do that Thank for both you. of us. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, I, I know I'm talking a lot. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Um, no, you're, you feel very passionately about what's about to happen. And I think that, I think that the, the natural instinct is to want to take a leadership role when you're feeling like you don't have any control over what is about to occur. And I, I completely understand that. I think, I think that we've all been through a lot together one way or the other and we've had to do things that kids our age don't usually have to do but you know what else we've gotten to do we've gotten to have fun together we've gotten to know people outside of our own circles and comfort zones like if it wasn't for this i don't know if i would have been friends with any of you not because you're not great people but because we had no reason to spend any time together. So I think if force comes to worse and this is all, this is the end for all of us. I'm really glad that it's you guys that I'm standing up with. Suck if we were all alone. Yeah, I mean, I like, I learned like pretty early on there's no safety in this world, you know, like things just happen to people and you can't like control stuff. But like this past year has been like, honestly, like best year I've ever had. So I'm OK if this is like it. Can I just say, Lenny, it's been really, really cool to watch you like become this person that you are now. Honestly, same because you were like. Heck of quiet, and now like you talk like, I you've said more words like in this conversation than like I probably heard you say in like the first six months I knew you. Thanks. Hey Dahlia. Hi. What musical are you in the mood for? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the conversation with Dr. Ash had me thinking about Hades Town all, uh, all day. Um, I will snap my fingers and I will use a divinity point 
to make the soundtrack of Hades Town player over um, the uh, speaker. The, the off Broadway version. Oh, the off Broadway version. <laughs> Wait for me, I'm coming to begin. You hear like, and they get accident in the other harmony <laughs> from the from the off the version. <laughs> it's, it's just like me with Heather's, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna listen to Heather's, the East End version. Yeah, yeah, valid. Very important. Mm, I've done Heather's, and I kind of prefer the original. It's fine. It's cool. Um, oh, at good. least you're not being tormented by three different versions of the Bear musical. So. The bear musical? Bear. Don't the pop opera. even get me started. There are literally exactly, three versions yeah. or, of this yeah. show. Like bear, it, bear? No, no, no. B A R E. It is gorgeous. Actually, you'd like oh, the show. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a great I, show. There's just literally three versions of it. Yeah. I only care about one. Uh, <laughs> but um, I got very excited. I thought it was a musical about bears. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> there's one out there. I'm sure there are, right? Uh, that fur life. Um, Kim puts down her empty cup, which was Lenny's empty cup of ice cream. <sighs> okay. All right. We have a lot on our plate. Fucking duh. But we have a student who's possessed by a fucking demon with superpowers running around. Maybe we deal with that I say, let's deal with that before we deal with the fucking apocalypse. I mean, we have to. Also, I'm getting another one of these. What flavor was this, Lenny? Uh, that strawberry rhubarb? I'm getting another strawberry rhubarb. I'll buy you one, I too, mean, just because I feel guilty. I, I think that Kim missed the part where we actually have to defeat the last demon before we can move on to the apocalypse anyway. I mean, right? Yeah? I didn't yeah. know that, did I? Nope, nope. That, that it was very clear that... We have to fight that when we might die in that fight or something. Uh, it's going to be a bad fight. So that's like the big thing to get ready for before big evil. So Kim comes back and she basically puts a pint of it down in front of you, Lenny, before she sits down with her cup and ain't angry eats. No, you're right. You're right, Manny. You're right. We. What if we don't? What if we don't? I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Because I'm because I'm the bad kid, okay? I know my role, I embrace it. And what happens to the student who's possessed if we don't help them? Well, he's gonna have a really fucking interesting life. It's not ethical, it's not the right decision, it's not something I'm going to do, it's just, I'm fucking scared, okay? And I think you are too. Of course I am. I don't want to die. I don't want any of you to die. <sighs> I have no idea what I want to do with my life. I have no idea where I'm going after this, but I know I don't want to die. Well, let's make sure we don't um, do that. Oddly enough, I, I'm, I don't think I'm scared at all. Is that weird? No, I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, you know, this is good ice cream. I'm like having a good time. Because I think like if, if, if this is the situation that we have to deal with, this is the best group to deal with it. Because we're all part of the safety squad. Plus Kwame. I'm so uh, he admitted it, Kim says, being a little shit heel. But I promised I wouldn't lump him in. So... He's not. You can lump me in. It's supposed to be the end of the world. Just whatever. Yeah, Manny. Manny takes this opportunity finally because they didn't want to do it before. They. I, I would imagine that this is happening on both sides of Kwame. That that if if you're alright with this, Mika, that Dahlia and Manny are probably both at the same time, just kind of like. <laughs> yeah. Hug like Kwame. Just like. I didn't want to say it before, but you said that you were a leader, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's the leader of the safety squad, and it felt so good to hear you say that. <sighs> and that is going on my Instagram. You can see like the, the like exasperated face. Just <sighs> she, she okay. It's done. We're very very happy to have you as a part of our team, Kwame. Anyway, here's the armband. 
<laughs> the leadership <laughs> armband. I'm not putting that on. No, no, you got it. You got it. You said you were the leader, so you got to do it. Yeah. I did not say I was the leader. Didn't, I didn't you. say that. I think you, you said a lot of stuff about leadership. In, in, I, in, can, I can fact check him that he did technically not claim to be the leader, just that he was talking a lot. And I'm the one who implied that he took on a leadership role. Oh, okay. So, like, he takes it back and gives him just a regular armband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. If we all survive, if we all survive the next twenty-four hours, I say we have an election in this club. Okay. <clears throat> I kind of decide. I kind of don't think it's a good idea to have any one specific leader. I agree. This is a democracy. Hmm. We are a council. Okay. All right, now that we've had ice cream, what do we want to do next? Good question. Um, um, and and for a very dark skinned man, his cheeks become a little red. Um, uh, hey, Lenny, can I talk to you like over there? Yeah, just just over, just just over there. Bag of popcorn, scooting closer to Dahlia. Kim. Immediately grabbing some. Kim's on the other side of you, Manny. Just... Um, yeah, you know, he like scoots over, probably like to like a corner booth of this ice cream parlor, wherever the fuck they are. Um, <clears throat> hey, um, hi, hi, how you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I, I'll be honest, I eat too much ice cream, and my my stomach's like all grumbly, but I'll be okay. You know, when you eat anchovies and vinegar, uh, things happen into your system, uh, and hopefully you will deal with that. Not now. Uh, hopefully that has a, some time to settle in. Yeah. Um, are you excited? Do you know about the, the end of the world or whatever? Uh, not um, especially. I like the world, kind of like how it is, although there is things I would change. Uh, but uh, Lenny, I know. like you. Uh, wait, I didn't say that out loud. Uh, uh, spite of sins a lot that I didn't say that. Okay. Um, I, that didn't work. Shit. Um, huh? it's the end of the world, and I feel like I need to say it now before you know we die. Um, so, uh, hi, hey, uh, you're hey. cool and stuff. Oh, thank you. And I think you're uh, funny and uh, sweet, and uh, you know, if we survive this, um, um. You know, I would, wouldn't mind going to a movie theater with you or something, if, if you want, or, or whatever that means. Um, yeah, I guess uh, it would depend on what you mean, because uh, I'm going to need you to, like, because you're saying a lot of things, and I'm going to need you to, like, I don't know, like, straight up say how you feel. For for someone as charismatic as me, this is really hard. Um, Linux? I am admitting that I have feelings for you and I would be interested in exploring that with you if you are interested as well. And if you're not, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's cool. I know like, you know, Nanako will be fine with that and, and probably Kim, I don't, Nick, uh, anybody else, maybe. I don't know. You're like, I'm a lesbian. Uh, uh, Kwame, uh, I'm going to say this the only way I can. Yeah, that sounds like totally dope. Like if we don't end up like dying, let's like, I don't know, like, go see a movie or like have a date or whatever. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got to make sure we don't die. Yeah, because that oh. would like, that'd probably mess it up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. It, 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 it's a it's a date. Dope. Tight. Cool. Um. All right. I'm going back over there, and you know they probably think we we died or something. Uh, I don't think so. They're they're watching pretty closely. They absolutely are. All three of them are just kind of. As you see, to. like <laughs> red come out of the nose. Uh! 
Okay, well. Yeah, we can if, just if casually when, yeah, walk back Kwame, over. <laughs> if and when Kwame comes and sits down next to Manny again, Manny just kind of like leans over and is like, it's about damn time. And then just kind of sits back up and continues to eat their limoncello ice cream. I guess like start digging in immediately. <laughs> I say nothing. I become <laughs> Kawame robot for a second. So are you guys Kawame discussing plans for stuff? Yeah, and just like what we're going to do after. Oh! Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Manny and I were discussing that with Kim, too. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Kim dons a fake mustache and a pipe and she's going to put a hand on your shoulder, Kwame. Now you take good care of my little girl out there, okay? <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I was watching the two of you and, and enjoying your uh, exchange, even though I couldn't hear what you were saying. I'm still just eating. I... <laughs> Kwame is After... silent. <laughs> I think after we finish this, we should like drive around for a little while and just sort of look at how pretty everything is. Wait, who can drive? I can drive. I mean, can drive. <gasps> I mean, I can drive too, but I don't have my car here. My mom, yeah. won't, my mom and dad won't let us. Is Dolly the only one who can't drive? <laughs> that would be <laughs> such a great. That would like <laughs> theater trope is just too It's too hard. Go with too hard into that theater trope. I'm sorry. I'm a theater queer and I cannot drive. <laughs> I didn't know that you guys had your licenses. I I do, but like I said, my parents won't let me have my car out here. They think that they think it's too soon for me to have that much independence. I think it's terrifying, and also, it the, all the spots to go to driver's ed were when we had theater rehearsal, and also, it's scary. I want to teach you how to drive. No, thank you. Okay. I, I will take a cab everywhere. Okay. That'll get expensive in New York. But I'll have it's a walking walking city. Okay. I don't it's know if I'll be able city. to link it, but I'm going to link it in. I don't know if we'll go through or not. Uh, yeah, it went through. That uh, I'm linking it here, too. This is, this is um, Kwame's car. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I'm 17. I got my... I got my my, you know, intermediate license until I, I become 18. Kim has joined uh, uh, nice Dahlia car. in the I am embarrassed and I'm the not co going Congress to money. I mean, you would have an excuse to me. You died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I died. Yes. That, that, that is, that is what happened. Yeah. I died. But yeah, let's go. Let we could split up into the, each other's cars and then go. I can drive Lenny's car if Lenny wants to ride with Kwame. That was good. What? That was a good setup. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And he just like tosses his keys over to you. Oh, you're making this awkward. Making this fun. Let's go. Kwame. And I think that Ma Manny Manny has explored this area enough to know like that. Like we're kind of in sort of a rural mountainousy kind of area, right? Like yeah. there's probably like a couple of really, really nice lookout spots that like give you like really good view of just like Portland uh like organs and nature essentially. And like uh Manny basically takes them somewhere like that to just kind of chill until it gets dark or like basically streetlight type of rule, and then we have to head back to campus sort of a thing. But yeah. That was kind of their idea, just going someplace that's really pretty and look at look at the prettiness and relax. You see some breathtaking vistas while you had this little trip together, and it is really something special. And it's nice because we would not be able to get away with this otherwise if we were regular students, but because we're about to lay down our life for this for, for the school and all of the people in it. If uh, Dr. Ash has anything to say about it, Manny will just- He can fight me. He, 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 can, he can literally fight me, so. <laughs> Bless. Uh, would like to throw this out to our chat. We are $5 away from reaching our next uh, unlock goal. 
Our first one has been unlocked. We now have five rerolls available to the table. Woo! Woo! Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Big shout out to Mamino. Yeah, who's look been look coming through. Yes, uh, I believe actually Melpomino has given us some. Um... Ah, Melpomino yeah, has drawn little... two from the deck, and Five Foot Latina has given us a toast. So why don't we bum 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 bum? Uh, good afternoon, students of North Point Academy. Sorry, where the who stole my cigarette? Right, it's right here. Here we go. You All need right. to stop smoking. Uh, let's, uh, we got a, a couple of announcements here from, uh, from, uh, some people. We got one from Five Foot Latina. It says, lunch ladies have gone, uh, on a cruise this week. It's called, uh, it, so I called in reinforcements. Enjoy, uh, the, uh, the, uh, pe- pe- th- uh uh, newfangled words I ain't never read when I when I have it's an accident. Plethora. plethora. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Honestly, I can't let them know that I have a learning disability. A plethora of food trucks in the quad. We got tacos, grilled cheese, and of course the Salisbury steak truck. You know they go. You know I. They never have the pudding truck. I don't know why. The pudding truck is my, one of my favorites every time it's by. And then we got uh, from Mel Pomino says. Uh, as the term comes to a close, the Welsh Language Club would like to share the final announcement of the no. term. Uh, let's see. I got to take a cigarette out of this one. Uh, club. Okay, there's no vowels in this next word. L-W-C. That ain't, that's not a word. You can't tell me that's a word. Pub. Look. Look. I. Grafam. Uh. Yar. Yisko. Meg the gun a fruit no fruit chin water her for pretty sure that was uh pitch perfect Welsh if anyone asks uh don't add me anyways that's it that's our announcements okay. today uh it's, I, it's so, so, so uh, uh, that's all see you later Oh. <laughs> we love you guys. Stop smoking. Oh. oh, that was very special. Mel Pamino has drawn two cards from the deck as well. The first card they've drawn is the sun in reverse. Why we keep? Co- Why you need to turn your 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 deck around, Stephen? <laughs> now, if I uh, Kwame is represented by the sun, correct? Oh no! I yes. believe so. Yeah, Kwame's represent. So Kwame, your next roll will be at disadvantage. That's stressful. All right, we're doing another shuffle real quick. Quick, roll for something like really inconsequential, like keeping your shit together. I'm sorry, that is an omen for Kwame's card. The first time it's ever gotten pulled. It's been pulled before. Once. Once. The magician upright. Well, the magician is. Well, the magician doesn't represent a particular character. Oh, it used to. It used to be. Um, uh, never mind. Go ahead. Sorry. I know. I know. It was definitely our uh, lovely little friend, but they are not here. So instead, here's how it's going to work: Everyone who plays magician will receive a free plus one on a roll. That might save you. See, okay. That that might just save your life. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you all very much for that. So, after you all have a beautiful drive along the uh, Pacific Northwest coast, you return to campus and you get there right as the sun begins to set and you're all, there's a heaviness. There's no denying that, but you all feel at least together. <sighs> um. Should we uh, look for this person or? Do we want to do this tonight or do we want to try and get a good night's sleep and do it tomorrow? Because <sighs> tomorrow I have a test and I think that if I can get out of doing a test, I'm I'm okay with getting out of doing a test. Let's let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. If, if, if you know, the world doesn't decide to say, gotcha, uh, let, let's do it tomorrow. 
Well, I mean, it probably will. We'll probably regret going to bed and getting a good night's rest first. But you know what? We'll we'll have a night to just be. And besides, I need to talk to Maat. Do you guys want to possibly do a slumber party tonight? I know it's against school rules, but I think it would be fun. I mean, what are they going to do? Like, kick us out or whatever? Kill us? (laughs) (laughs) In reality? (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, I'm down. Which room are we going to do it in? Who has the biggest room? Wait, hold on. I think we're we all, all, the same same we all just turn. Really? Is, is Lenny Lenny's not slightly RA. bigger? Lenny's an RA. Lenny, Lenny has to have like a two room that's combined by a door. He is technically uh, the RA, so I guess he would have the bigger dorm. Lenny has a double single, like it's two singles attached, with like like with one of those hotel doors. But he yeah. he forgets most of the time that there's another room, so there's like a whole other room he doesn't use. <laughs> In college, uh, I had a room that was a three-person room, and it was at the corner, but the two others never showed up, so I had the entire room to myself. I had the biggest room on the floor to myself. It was great. All right. Well, yes, slumber party and Lenny's double single. Oh, this scares me. I can bring movies. Do you guys want to watch musical movies or movies based on musicals or movies based on Broadway shows? I think that that's all the same thing. Bring whatever you want. Okay. What about uh, you, movies? We, we're we're not Broadway. just doing Sound of Music. I, you know what? I'll bring one of my my movies. You'll like. You'll like it. It's it's a musical. Oh, okay, cool. And what does Kwame I... bring? The Wiz. Good call. Yeah, mm. I'm going to bring some snacks. I my mom sent me a huge Tupperware full of falafel. So I'm gonna bring some falafel. That was my lunch. <laughs> do you do you want to do your conversation with Maat before you join us? Or yeah, uh, I'm gonna go to my room and talk to Maat, and then cool. I will bring my falafel. And I believe there might be some lebna in there too. So yeah, I'm just I'm gonna just gonna bring the spread. Cool. Yeah, I'll go back to my room and grab my stuff and grab my change of clothes, and uh, then I guess. We'll all convene at Lenny's. I'll probably be there before you all, but you know what I mean. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> so before we get to your scene, Aki, uh, so Jonder, I hope I'm saying your name right. I never say anyone's name right, uh, has drawn from the deck. It's the sun upright. <laughs> I saw, I saw, just negate just it just, yourself. This is, this is, this is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, but this is stressful. <laughs> so what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to give you advantage on your next roll. But since I got your card in reverse last time, do you think it's fair if we just call it a wash? No. Okay. No. So no. The, the, the first right. roll is going to be a disadvantage. The second roll is going to be an advantage. Okay. We're going right. to honor these cards. All right. I will People pick up money for them. I will say, however, you cannot use a re-roll and then just roll with advantage, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. These, they are, if the one at disadvantage will be a disadvantage and okay. I won't get the re-roll, the one at advantage will be at advantage and I don't with the re-roll. Yeah, they okay. won't be affected by re-roll. I guess let it be. Thank you all for that very much. Uh, we are currently sitting at uh, $35 away from the next tag, next tier. So, uh, Manny, you are in your dorm room and you want to talk to Ma'at. Yes. Uh, Manny sort of sits on the floor in like a lotus style position and they, um, they kind of fold their hands in their lap and they know that Ma'at is just there whenever they, they call them. But like, there is sort of a, the sense of, of kind of loneliness in their, their posture and they go, Ma'at. If we're going to be going up against the Prince of Lies, I know I'm protected because you protect me, but how do I protect the others? From what I understand, just based on, you know, the fact that we live in a Christian-centric country, the devil is, 
you know, temptation and, and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and might have all this stuff to throw in our way that might distract my friends and get them killed. So how do I keep that from happening to them? Is there something I can do that will make it easier for them to withstand that stuff? The golden wings of Maat be here, up here behind you as your room is basked in the golden light. Be their shepherd. Be their guide. Be their conscious. Okay, Jiminy. Bite me. <laughs> that is what you can do. Manny. Be the knight you are. I really don't know what I'm doing. No one does. And that's the truth. Do you like falafel? I adore falafel. I wish you could help me carry all this stuff. Okay. And they just sort of start piling because like their mom sent them hummus and Lebna and pita and and falafel. Just like you're having a very good Mediterranean like, dinner. Like pickled, like pickled uh like vegetables, like like mason jars full of pickled vegetables and that kind of stuff. Like they have like a little mini fridge in their own dorm room. It's just like filled to bursting with all of like their favorite like like Mediterranean like Egyptian foods. So there's like curry, like there's goat and like stuff like that. Is Mrs. Brown one of those people who's like, there my child's gonna starve to death up there. Oh certainly okay. she knows that the cafeteria is full of garbage food so that she makes sure that like every now and again manny gets to eat real food fair enough at least as far as she's concerned it's not her food and so it's garbage food ah, of course what's Absolutely. garbage of square pizza man i could kill for a piece of that square pizza with the square pieces of pepperoni and the basically plastic cheese oh man yeah okay moving on sorry all right. With that. So yeah, Manny bring, just brings all that stuff over. The four of you have a wonderful, wonderful sleepover. Uh, CB, did you want a scene with that? Or are you guys cool just kind of montaging it? We can montage. I think uh, doing the Wiz, he makes sure that, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's not Wizard of Oz. This is better, in my opinion. Um, and Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. And, you know, all these people, uh, it's really good. Um, and you know, they, they, they chill and, uh, uh Kwame definitely uh, not so casually, uh, uh, leans against, uh, Lenny as they, uh, uh watched the movie. Uh, and yeah, that, 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 that's it. Uh, Manny shares a fruit by the foot with Dahlia. Oh my God. Uh, I would say probably after the whiz, Dolly is going to stand up and be like, okay, so I brought all of my DVDs over. I've got like, I've got movie versions and stuff like feature film stuff, but I also have, we call them slime tutorials on the internet. We say, Ooh, did you see the slime tutorial? It's a illegal recording. It's a bootleg recording. And so I thought it would be really fun if we watched like a recording of it on Broadway, a recording of it off Broadway, and then a movie version of one of these musicals and then compare them and rank them. Wouldn't that be so fun? Yeah, that sounds like a great time. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All, all I brought was like I it's it's it, my you know, I I don't I all I had was this. Uh, it's like a, it's like an old classic. So I, I might not, y'all might like, not like it, but it's a really old movie. It's called National Treasure. <sighs> dust, uh... age, decrepit, turns to dust, fucking dies, <laughs> no longer alive. I hate this skeleton. I hate this. <laughs> Look into the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> Face melting. Why would you do that to us, Eric? Because oh. it's my favorite thing to do is point <laughs> make out. Make us all feel old. Yeah. 
Thanks. He's <laughs> one of the oldest people in the room to make everyone else feel like they're the Crypt Keeper. Hello, Boomer. Is this my life? No. Is that that movie with the really cute guy? Yeah, Nicolas Cage. No, the other one. The Sean sidekick. Bean? No, the sidekick. Oh, I forget his name. Riley Beers. Who? Well, you didn't forget their name. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Oh, Jesus Christ. You all have a lovely night together. The next day at North Point Academy, alarms go off. People argue over who used up the last of the hot water. Uh, students are rushing to class. Projects are being scrambled together on a Google Doc on someone's phone mere seconds before they have to present it. Psst. Steven, sorry to interrupt you, but look at the chat really fast. Hmm? Um, and we have decided out of game to change our uh, little tiers real quick. So here's the deal, chat. If we raise $300 this episode for our season finale, if we can raise $300, Critical Bar, why don't you tell them? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, if we raise $300 today, it has to be today. Yeah, we're not saying, you know, save your money if you need to save your money. But if we raise $300 today, we will play a game within a game. We will play a game of D&D &D in which Anansi is the DM and he is leading the safety squad sans Kawame, but including potentially Kim uh, through a Dungeons and Dragons game in which they play themselves as a Dungeons and Dragons character. It would be called. I love um, um, it, it. It would be called crap. I don't know. Um, the webs we weave. The webs. Ooh. We Wyvern, Wyverns and, and webs. Wyverns we're, we're, and webs. Maybe. Spiders we'll and sanctuary. Spiders and sanctuary. That was good too. I like that as well. I'm here for it. Dahlia will be like the best arms. Movie. Over the arms. <laughs> All right, so we have 45 minutes to raise $210 for that. So is there I believe finale? in our I chat. think we can do it. I think it can happen. So average day, pleasant morning. Do you go to class? I, I specifically said I wanted to miss this test. So... Nanny's about it. When they get up in the morning, they're just like, all right, uh, let's go see if we can locate our our uh, our scarecrow. You do have that map you created last episode that will yep. take you directly to them. They've got the map open. They're probably awake before everybody else, like, like pouring over the map, you know, trying to come up with, like, the perfect place to maybe corner them and, like, keep the, the school from from receiving like the minimum amount of damage, like that kind of stuff. Manny, that morning you saw, you see on the map where your target is. They, before you woke up, were on the baseball diamond. They have not moved since. They're Don't waiting. like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Okay. I think I know what arena we will be uh, fighting in today. How are we all feeling? Did we get enough sleep? Dahlia slept in her outfit that she picked out for today because she wanted to be like super prepared. Well, that. I mean, I, I, sl I slept like hecka late, like I, I woke up. I didn't wake up till like five thirty. Oh yeah, yeah. I you, you know, when you when you when I when I wake up to being pushed off the bed on accident, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. When you were doing two a days, what time did you have to be up usually, Lenny? Uh, usually like four. Ah. 
All right. Okay. I think there's some leftover falafel if anybody's hungry. I feel like we should um, definitely guess food. Oh God. Um, but you know, if this is if this is it, um, how would you want to walk to this field in your own story? What do you look like? What is your battle armor? Not literally, but oh. what's your what's your outfit? I thought we were talking about modes of travel, and I thought it'd be cool if we rented some of the bikes on campus and rolled. No, up I mean we got to like I, I mean like this, and uh, if you're okay with this, Stephen, absolutely. If this, if this could be the the use of one uh, AP point, uh, everyone. I'm not even gonna make you spend the AP point for this. Just Bless. Cause... It's a costume change. Yes. There is never a wrong time for a costume change. Yes. Yeah. Are we uh, all going to get our magical coral tra- transformations? Yep. Yay. Um, uh, Kawame, uh, you see um, uh, Webb start to um, um, kind of connect all over him. Um, Anansi's not even doing anything. You just see this web kind of forming. Um, and as it uh, hardens and then dissipates, you see that he is no longer, well, he was shirtless. Um, because it's early, whatever. Um, but he has now a sleeveless, long, uh, like, um, uh, like a coat, uh, that is black with different, uh, gray and silver inlaid designs and entry, uh, and lines. Um, very, uh, uh, akin to a, a spider's web, uh, with some nice, uh, with some nice, uh, pants, some boots to go over the, uh, the bottom, uh, 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 you know, a glove, a really nice glove with two fangs that are right here. Uh, you know, his hair is kind of slicked back a little bit. Uh, gold earrings connecting from the top of his uh, ear to the bottom. He ready? Like, hey, we got it. We got it. We got. We got to have our moments, right? I think um, Manny's eyes kind of light up as they watch this transformation, and they're like, and they they start like kind of imagining themselves in like basically. A more this is kind of a cross between what like Egyptian armor would have looked like would have been like you know the the really broad like like kind of one banded chest plate type things that look like necklaces and sort of like um, it's like that you know Roman and like Greek and Egyptian armor all kind of like you know but with a little bit of like it's that motif but it's uh heath ledger's armor from um uh uh a knight's tale with like an egyptian motif to it i love that and it has like the gold it's got gold edging all over it and like weight like the wing motif everywhere so uh dahlia's outfit is very um what's the word it's classic Roman Greco, like the very loose but still form-fitting white dress that goes down to her feet, uh, hangs off the shoulders, has like gold accents everywhere. But I think she also has a lot of like flower embroidery on it and like willow uh, leaves hanging off, just a lot of like lushness coming out of the dress. And she has like a, a protective corset made out of like wood bark. It it just gives off natural vibes, but very much goddess of the underworld slash vegetation. I think uh Lenny has uh he has like uh like a I don't know what they're called, but it's like it, it's it's like a male skirt, like it's it's like classic Sumerian, like like it's not incredibly vibrant it's probably like you know very plain and has some some embroidery and beadwork and stuff like that and then he's got a a letterman's jacket that uh on but no shirt of course of course oh. of course of yeah course. Uh, manny manny like you know nods as everybody and then they they look at lenny and they go i have one thing i think that we should do before we start before we all go out there and they pull out like four cups and they like kind of hold them out to Lenny. And he, he just 
fills them all. Pass them around to everyone. Huh. A toast. <laughs> to the uh, North High Point Academy School Safety Squad. We're about to do something really ridiculous. And that we're all we going to live through it. That we will. Cheers. Chug, 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 yes. chug, 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 chug. <laughs> but as we, as we start to walk out, I 1,000% rip Lenny's Letterman jacket off and throw it. You're not wearing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just in a skirt now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's 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 Ninkazi. It's fine. <laughs> All right. It doesn't take long for the four of you to arrive at the baseball field. Standing there is a friend of yours, Manny. Ben Pendleton. Member of about 14 different clubs, known as kind of the blue blur of North Point Academy. And he's waiting for you. Hi, Ben. In a voice of many, you hear him say, this is your final battle. We have one more after you. So be it. His head reels back as red foam begins to leak from his eyes and mouth. And soon Ben is not there. Instead, you see the face of Oribus. Ah! A winged horsed creature with eyes of a man and standing at about nine feet tall surrounded by small, horrid creatures made of this red bile. And I need you all to roll initiative. I was like, as the transformation is happening, you see Anansi has like slipped uh, Kwame's phone out of his uh, thing and gets sent a tech to Nick and Kim. We're at the field, get here! <laughs> Exclamation point! <laughs> um, okay. Speed plus dex. So Kwame gets disadvantage on this or negative? Oh one? no! Yeah. This was the worst roll to have. Uh, uh, oh no. Okay, okay. First roll. Wow, we are all rolling. It's a nine. Garbage. Second roll. Oh, yes. mm. Never mind. Mm. We are all okay. rolling garbage mm. for initiative. Mm. This oh, is boy. not great. All right. Well, that tells me what I need to get done first. Wow. So, Oribus, with a very high initiative compared to the rest of you. <sighs> Don't say that. Don't say I that. Mean, we all rolled below you 10 rolled on initiative. Like we rolled real, real you fucking rolled like bad. Poop. I'm sorry. Thank you, card in reverse. Well, next one is is not, and you have advantage on it, so make it count. Uh, or of us will vomit this red vial. Uh, who is up front? Manny? I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be at you, Manny. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. Roll Ooh. damage. I can roll my defense. Ugh. That could have been so bad. you are going to take five damage as it hits you, uh, sending you backwards. It kind of burns. Next up, Manny. Uh, oh, am I first? Wowie, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, the sword manifests in their hand this long large blade that looks like a, a curved feather uh but like 
it looks like it's a one bladed weapon, but the gilded, the golden gilded edge is also uh, sharpened and they kind of flick it in their hand, manifest their uh, their shield, and uh, they're gonna fly, fly away. Holy shit, Blind Seer, thank you. Thank you so much, wow. Um, All right, here we go. That puts us 150 away from our uh, Anansi Rand 5e one shot. So that's gonna be a 10 to hit. That is not going to hit. I had a feeling. All right, then that is going to be their turn. All right. Let's... Lenny and Dahlia, you both share initiative. So what happens? Uh, Lenny goes first because somebody's eaten. Uh, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I just say I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to just fire a bunch of a bunch of liquid out my out my hands at this thing and try and smack it a bit. All right. Smack my Boop. nine. That's probably not going to be enough. Um, a nine is not going to hit. You shoot your beer jets and shoo! they go wide. Dahlia, you're up. Uh, I'm going to try to lash this thing down with vines like I usually do. Not a bad idea. We love Earthbind. It's great. It's a great spell. Roll to Earthbind. All right. And that's going to be minus two, so 15. 15 is going to work. Dang. Yay! Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and give it uh, find it eight. Yay! All right. Now, in the distance, on the other side of the field, you see Kim, you see Kim riding on top of a television set with Nick uh, using it as a Gundam. Pangu is out, and they are on their way. But before they get there, uh, you see five multicolored rabbits. Thanks to the chat, the rabbit rangers are going to assist. Go, go, rabbit rangers. Yes. <laughs> they all strike a pose, and they're going to strike at Oribus. They were one short. <laughs> Dang it. Rip. Can they reroll? Uh, I could use one of the rerolls. Should I? Uh, well, maybe we, we want those. Yeah, I think we need to save them. We need to hold on to them. Yeah, we gotta need them. <laughs> Rabbit Rangers all strike at Orbis and miss, but they land dramatically in front of Dahlia. And behind them appears Morpheus. Hey, Dahlia. <laughs> All right. Just letting the chat know we're a hundred dollars away from the next tier and one hundred fifty dollars away from our final tier where CB would run a one shot. All right. And speaking of CB, Kwame, you're up. All right. You know, very blade esque uh, vest. Oh, a vest. You know, long coat uh, floats behind, and he says, "Let's do this." Uh, my fangs extend on my fanged fist, uh, and I run. Past, I kind of like do like a turn looking at Lenny and I do another turn completely just like deck Orbis right in the face with my fist. So this will be uh, what we have decided is strength and power for these uh, fists. Yep. Uh, let me also mark off a point. Please do. Boop, boop. And I have this at advantage. So higher the two. 13, okay, 13, uh, 17. 17 um, hits. Great. Um, so damage uh, is 19. Dang. All right. Uh, as it dodges the attacks of the rabbits and uh, many swords and the giant... Uh, 
vines pulling it down. It is unable to dodge you. And actually, it rolled under an eight. So it is actually going to take a hit on one of its dice, going for a D10. That is the perk of uh, these sorts of things. And you are going to hit it for a lot. 60 minus 18. Good Lord. All right. We're back at the top of the order with Oribus. Oh, Infuriated. Boy. It's going to lash out at you, Kwame. Large. Boy, it, it reaches a hand towards you, and you see as the hands open up, like crack in half, revealing large teeth. Mouths don't belong there. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit. You have a three. So give me a defense roll. You got to do a protect on Kwame, y'all. Like hardcore protect. Three. You take seven damage as it bites into you. Ah! I'm fine! All right. Manny, you're up. Uh, I think Manny is going to take a slightly different attack than they usually do. And instead of attacking, they're going, well, I mean, they are attacking, but they're going to use their second level uh, divinity ability um, and begin to try and draw the oxygen away from um, Oribus in order to incapacitate him. So All I right. believe that we have a slightly different role for that. It's not yes. my usual strength and power. For that role, we are going to make it your uh, dexterity and range. It's my dex and range. Okay. I do super appreciate that you allow us to kind of uh, uh, figure out what roles make the most sense for the stuff that we're doing. I mean, that's half the fun of simple systems like this. Just sort of like, okay, that sounds like this and this. Let's do that. Uh, mm, not great. I think I'm going to do a reroll. All right. That knocks us down to four rerolls. Worse. Gosh darn it. Yep. Two I, AP spent for fine. nothing. Yay. You attempt to lower the oxygen, but it's really hard when you're out in the open like this. You don't have a controlled environment. Uh, Lenny and Dahlia, it's your turns. I'd like to... I'd like to also use my second ability. And I want to deflect any amount of light from ever entering this thing's eyes. So therefore, it's not able to see anymore. Okay. All right. Um, I will let you do this, but I will expect you to hit its initiative at 13. Okay. And this is just like a magician roll? Yes. Hey, does the 16 <laughs> work? 16 Arr. works. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence and power roll. Okay. Uh, and this will give him a second condition along with binded. Ten. Blind, blind, binded eight and blinded five. <laughs> Bound and blindfolded. I've got a theme going right now. Technically, technically it was a twelve. Oh yeah, because I had two as a magician. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it would be a six. All right. Blinded eight. Blinded six, binded eight. All right. Yeah, Lenny, remember four. to add that damage. I, Lenny's gonna create a bubble of, I don't know if this thing breathes, but a bubble of like liquid around its head that stays there to suffocate it, I guess. I don't know. Drown Just it? Maybe? Force it to get really drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's, that'll be a thing I do. You're hazing it like you're in a yeah. frat. Okay. Well, Come on, gonna... Frosh. All right, all right. I want this to be a... Uh, why don't you make this strength and range? Strength and range. Minus two for this roll of... So that's going to be a uh, 15. Okay. Not bad, Mr. Drunk Fox. seven sound fair to you guys? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go home, Oribus. You're drunk. All right. Oh, yeah. Before Kwame goes, the bunnies will attack. Uh, with 
tiny rabbit rovers that turn into a giant bunny mech, but they're bunny size, so it's mostly just like a cardboard sized human robot they're controlling. They're going to strike at our enemy for a five. That is going to miss. It, it, they're bunnies, okay? They're trying their best, damn it. We appreciate them. Uh, we also appreciate Sojander for that nice tip. Uh, that puts us 110 away from our uh, one shot and $60 away from our big 250 tier. We can do this. We can do it. I believe in you. Uh, finally, uh, I'm going to have them go on the five. Uh, we have Pongu, Pongu, Nick, uh, Kim, and uh, the Morrigan. And they are going to attack together and miss. By a long shot. Rip. I feel like we need Zoya here too. We need Zoya, we need Helen, we need Spiro. What happened to that all, Dr. Ash? Whatever happens, I'll be there. I think that was specifically for when we dealt with the devil. Valid. All right, all right. How about this? If we get. Uh, if we get 40 more dollars, I'll throw Dr. Ash into the combat. I'm not frustrated with how many characters are here. It's fine. No, nah, it's fine. We don't need him. We kick we this We don't butt. need him. We kick this says, out. Easy. We got this. Honestly, I, I feel bad for Dr. Ash, but you know he's frustrated, but we're kids. So I don't care. <laughs> we're teenagers. This, like, this, is, this, is the, this is the way. Right. It's your job to be annoying as a teenager. Okay. So... After Kim and Nick, it's finally Kwame's turn. Um, I want to be smart. Um, I'm going to step away a little bit uh, and uh, start to wave my hands around and, you know, get that good old, uh, let me spin you a story in which I have the armor of, 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 of a tarantula. I don't know. Um, uh, I'm not good at wordsmith right now. Uh, I'm trying to web uh, we weave um, uh, web around me to just boost my ability to like if I get hit, it's, a, it's less hurting because I'm so low right now. All right, uh, let's go ahead and make this a defense and intelligence roll. Rip. Okay. Fun fact: tarantulas don't have carapace. Shush. You know? No, they're one of the few spiders that can die of fall damage. Because they're just big fluffy. Oh, I'm rerolling that. This yeah, is reroll yeah. happening. Also, all spider legs work on a hydraulic system. There's no muscles involved. Horses what can't puke. Fuck? All right. That's why they curl up when they yeah. die. What the Loss fuck? Though? I hate this information and I hate these rolls. Uh, Kwame, you are going to get a plus two on your defense rolls for the remainder of this combat, okay? Great, that, great, great. I worked on. I rolled two fives on that. Didn't help. No, it didn't did help. Not. It did not. Uh, but that's fine. I think this underneath. I almost have like a um, a crop top of uh, of web underneath my big jacket now. Yeah, like a sensor bar of protection. <laughs> a sensor bar, <laughs> right? Uh, can't show nipples on Twitch. So uh, yeah, you don't want to see the nipples on this Oribus person. They exist. If you scroll down, they exist. Listen, Mike Vignonia drew this Orbis. It's not my fault that he decided nips. But hey, they can't see it. Really aggressive time. nips. Uh, uh. Very pointy. All right. Uh, infuriated and drowning in alcohol, it is going to lash Same. out wildly. Uh, and it's going to be <laughs> trying to hit Lenny. Leave it's definitely Lenny going to alone. hit Lenny. Lenny, I need a defense roll. Leave Lenny alone. I got a three. Uh, you are going to take uh, nine damage. Okay. Do we all have a D6 in defense? It looks like it. I have a D4. I have a D10. Mm. Dolly just built like a fucking truck. I love it. 
Listen, I was a quarterback. I was just, I supposed to run fast and not get hit. Right, I'm lanky as fuck. You think I can take all this rejection for not getting lead roles and not be defense, like have a high defense? Come on. That That's fair. That's fair. Dahlia has defensive. built me up. I'm a rich white guy. I've got no defense. The slightest yeah, inconvenience the and I'm, a, I'm gone. And you call your lawyer. <laughs> or your mom. <laughs> all right. Next up is Manny. All right. Well, I have not been having the greatest run of luck here but you, you know not. what we're just gonna first you don't succeed try try again so let's let's try and at least do a chop chop here see if we can get a decent roll 13 13 hits yay let's get some damage six oh my okay. damage rolls are always so sucky well they might be sucky, but his defense roll was poop. Oh, his defense roll was poop. That's good for you guys. Yeah, he's under he's under some of, the, uh, some of them numbers that we set. That means some of his dice get knocked down. Significantly. Sweet. So that was six damage on the damage roll, by the way. Chat. All right. Six. Uh, 43 minus five. That is 38. I can do math. Yes. I went to college. I mean, I went to college, crabs. <laughs> Next up, Lenny and Dahlia. Do it. Uh, yeah, Lenny is gonna uh, gonna 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 do a do a punch about it, I guess, with water, and since it's it's seems to be not doing well with you know alcohol covering its face. So, hey, uh, 18. That, that's that's, that's a, crit. a critical. That's a crit. Dang. Okay, roll your damage and double it. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, that's 32. 32. Well, shit. It's still standing. But oh. how good is it standing? Is it wobbly? It ain't happy. It ain't, it, it's doing a little wibble wobble. I imagine yeah. it's like it's that anime thing where Lenny fires like the tiniest little beam and it like it's like huh that didn't even and then it's like Pfft, and like yeah. the screen goes white and yeah. it's still standing and it is vicious looking. That was good. Yeah. That was very good. All right, it, it's actually going to take a cheat move. Boss fights, they can do that. I, ever... I need a dexterity roll from everyone. We're looking for a target of four. Dexterity? Yes. This ain't going to go well. One. How did I roll a one on a d10? We have rerolls. We have rerolls. <gasps> okay, five. We'll be out of rerolls, but all three of you can use them. Chat, help us. I'm, I'm going to use mine. Yeah. I won't. Oh, yeah. you crit. All right, Kwame and Dahlia, you both take stumbled five. Oh, okay. And what would this mean? This means the earth begins to shake, and you see students evacuating buildings and fire alarms going off. Orbus is causing an earthquake. Noted. Manny and Lenny, Rude. you both are planted. You have this. You're fine. Next up, the rabbits go. Super bunny punch. They miss. They're trying. Okay. We appreciate their pressure. They're, they're precious. Listen, they every group. Every, for them. every anime group needs a Krillin. <laughs> Finally, Kim and Nick, they are going to strike him. Oh, that's actually a hit. Work. <laughs> work. <laughs> I love this just very casual way he Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, work. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, I love it. It was great. <laughs> He's like, oh, work. <laughs> Sadly, they do not break his defense. Ugh. Every group needs a Yamcha. Just so rude. Let and finally, work. it's Kwame's turn. 
All right, I am very angry, but seeing what Linny has done, I am inspired, and I will. Uh, That's your boy. Like I am not as strong as Manny, but I can try, and I'm gonna try to uh, hit once more with my fanged fist. Uh, yes. yes, 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 yes. That's what I do. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. You. All right, all right, all right, all right. Right, all right, all right. Make sure y'all using AP. Um, strength plus power. Uh, I'm using reroll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna uh, be that's gonna be um uh twelve. I mean, I'm sorry, two. sixteen for me. It's two, it's minus two, but I have a plus six, so it's yeah, plus it's four strength. for me. Yeah, so, that's gonna hit. so 16. 16 hits. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, then for damage, not as much, but it's gonna be 14 Eight. points. I'm actually gonna use a reroll on what I got, and I did. We have one reroll left for the table. It is you know what? It takes three damage. Can I use a reroll on that damage? It's the last reroll. I'm asking. I don't want to get taken. Do it. Uh, it's it's Mika's reroll. I think she's the only one who hasn't. Oh, that is true. So. Take it. I give. Mighty pump. Okay, it was two more. Uh, so it's sixteen instead of fourteen. All right. It's going to take five of that, and it is still standing. It's okay. Not too much longer. We got this, y'all. Yes. It lets out a bellowing scream, and I need everyone to make a charisma roll. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be real bad. For I'm me. looking for a five. What critted? What scares me is that it's going to be bad. This is I my best roll. I literally cannot roll a five. Okay, good. I critted. I got a 12. You might but you a could crit. You could crit. I didn't. Four I did nine. the opposite. No, you crit. You crit, all right. Crit in a way. You crit in the wrong direction. Yeah. Uh, Lenny, on top... Lenny avoided getting stumbled, but you are going to be taking uh, the condition Shaken 6. Uh, you are terrified, beyond all logic. You are shaken and stirred. Yes, you are. Next up, uh, it is going to make an attack, and it's going to go after Kwame. Why would you do this to me? Leave my boy alone. You've done the mo- You and Lenny have done the most damage, and you're a melee. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Give me a defense roll. Don't forget to add your two. Hey, it's the most I can get. It's with a four. A six. Okay, you take 11. That's still a lot of damage. So, uh, Are you unconscious? Uh, no! I'm not, but the measly armor I put on literally prevented me from being unconscious. <laughs> And you were upset about it. I was upset that it wasn't more. That's a difference. Every point counts. Every uh, point counts. Oh yeah, I am. Ble- I am like uh, black eye, uh, scrapes, busted lip, and I'm just. I can do this all day. I don't think you can. It turns and it's about to make another attack. This one at Manny. And Manny, before it can even swipe at you, an orange and black bunny appears in front of you and takes the hit. And it doesn't take the hit so much as it no sells the hit with an with a bunny forearm. Loki. I Oh, love did you get you. my flowers? I did. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yes, thank you to chat. Loki leverages the action. Thank you. Basically, uh, for the remainder of this fight, Manny is going to basically be able to call Loki to take the hit for him. Them. Oh. Oh. That seems like a little too much power. But okay. Is it my turn? Uh, no, because we have one more draw from the deck from Sojander. Uh-oh. <gasps> the chariot. Upright. All strength rolls will be done with advantage. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Ooh, all that right. that. Ooh, that means me too, because yeah. all of my attacks are strength and power. Yes. Let's go. Let's 
freaking do this! Only $110 left till we get the one shot. Now. Uh, Help us get our one shot, please. I really want to play D&D as Manny. I think it'd be very fun. And I never get to play. I've been a permanent DM on this, sh on this channel for like six years. Um, all right, Manny, it's your turn. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm rolling with advantage. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Uh, okay. All right, first roll is a 17, which I know hits, but you know, let's let's roll again just to see if we crit. We don't, but we still get a 17. Well, hot dog, you're gonna hit. Yep, and now here is my damage, which I believe also rolls with advantage because it's also a strength based check. True. Uh, that's 10 for the first roll. And so 10 damage on that hit. All right, uh, it is, it rolled a six, so it's going to take four of that. Oh dear. Hmm. It has one hit point left. Rip! Ah! It's been so long since I've gotten a kill. But it did roll under its blinded and drunk. So dice get knocked down another another notch. It went from two d12s to a d6 and a d8. Nice. Good. All right. I can feel it. There's all. There's only so much left in him. You. Lenny and Dahlia, take you're him up. Out. Lenny? Yes. Do you like to take this? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what, if, okay. what if we do a double move? What if we do like a combined thing? Oh yeah, uh, that that works. Like water and plant or whatever. Like yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Hello. I can. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's throw little bombs at it. I'll okay. wrap it up with a bunch of like gumballs and stuff. Not like the candy, like gumballs from trees. You know? Then we can use some bamboo to like, pew, bam, hit it. All right. So I want both of you to give me a magician hit roll. Uh, and we will take the higher of the two. Rip. Okay. okay. Oh, that wasn't it. It's range. 16. Uh, 14. 14. And Eric, what'd you get? I got a 5, so I'm not sure which is higher. <laughs> we'll go with Dahlia's roll, so yeah, I, I guess I'd you to roll damage. Alright. Uh, Damn! 20 damage? I got 9. I guess I, I like... Wow! <laughs> I made wow, I made wow. I made the dangerous things that that she's firing slightly damp. <laughs> <laughs> sticky. <laughs> it's sticky and it's gross, but they hit and they explode on contact. Orbis lets out a scream as the earthquake stops. And Orbis falls. Ben! Ben collapses to the ground. His eyes are closed. His breathing is haggard. Uh, Blind Seer, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, thank you. And he looks like he's just been in a very violent fight involving gumballs, swords, and spiders. But Manny he just pulls Ben up into their lap. He's kind of uh, we are $100 away from our big unlock, but 50 away from our full heal. As you pull Ben into your lap, there's just an uncomfortable silence over the entirety of North Point. Not just we... the school, but the town. Do we have a key? Yeah, I would say uh, Kawame stumbles over uh, and sees that there's a key. There is a key, and it's waiting for you. I don't like that. Um, I see the key. Kwame's getting flashes in his head, and CB's also freaking out. Um, uh, before he goes over to the key...
He walks over to Lenny, gives him a kiss on the cheek. Oh. oh. It's the cheek. It's not the lips. It's the cheek. It's still cute. It's very cute. And then he walks over to the key. I need you to roll me a charisma check. Yep. 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 The minute you said that, I had a feeling. (sighs) Please don't kill my boy. No! All right. All right. Guys, we are out of rerolls. I will say, however, if the chat wants to drop like $10, I will let him try this again because he rolled a one. And he only has two hit points, y'all. A one on a d12, by the way. Oh, Oh, boy. Oh, Oh, boy. Oh, Oh, that was Ah! more than enough. Thank you so much. Five foot Latina, thank you so much for that. <laughs> I believe that means we're 40 away from. We're only 40 away from our big unlock. Yeah. What? You oh, all? Wait, 20 away. My oh, bad. <laughs> thank you very much for that chat. Uh, you all take a full heal as you feel just inexplicably better. <sighs> Morpheus. Uh, comes over to you, Dahlia, with a, uh, he's got a little juice box and a cookie, and oh, he hands them out to everyone, and you all feel immediately better. Thank you, Morpheus. But Kwame, uh, you get your reroll. Y'all, I am scared. I'm scared. I am also scared, but I okay. believe, okay. I believe okay. in you. I believe in the game. No! You got a two! How is this possible? But why? But how? But why? Oh my goodness! Oh, what about okay. one more reroll if we hit our three hundred goal? If yes, only I, I had my goal. third level. If only I had my third level ability. All right, because I, I feel you. like it would fix this. Can we just okay. I will drop twenty dollars myself at this point. Oh God! No! 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 It's okay. This is what the story is doing. This is what the story is doing. This is what the story is doing. We're going to take. We're going to. What take happens? It. What happens? What happens? There's a voice. Hey, Kwame. Kim has come back from the dead, so who knows? We'll continue. Go. Kwame, you do not take any damage from this. Not that it matters. You're back at full HP because you had a cookie in a juice box. But Kwame, picking up that key. You feel something in the universe, something in the grand tapestry of the narrative of life click and open. And you feel the warmest hands on your shoulder and you hear a voice as sweet as honey whisper in your ear, I've been looking for a storyteller. Hi. Oh, okay. I need a storyteller. I need several storytellers. If I'm going to rewrite reality, I'm going to do you need someone who's done it before. Tell me, do you want that? Who am I talking to? I think you know. The sky begins to darken and clouds gather overhead over all of you. Oh no. Okay, you guys. Mm. Just, Mm. I'm gonna give you one piece of advice. Really important advice, and I need you all to remember it, okay? Yeah! You are you. You know what you want, you know what you need, and you know who you love. Nothing that we're about to see matters nearly as much as that does. And as Manny's words land, the world goes dark.
And that is where we end season three of New Pantheon Academia. Am I dead? You're not dead. We're all dead. Am I being taken to be the storyteller for Lucifer? Don't You'll just go. have to tune in next season to find out. This is a lot, y'all. <laughs> I was very excited about this. Yay! Oh, we are. The giggle. The giggle. I'm having one. I'm having a good one. So the game isn't over. We literally only need 20 more bucks $20 to hit our goal. Gets you gets you D and D. If we we get twenty dollars before we're done with our introdu- uh with our introductions and outro, man, y'all are getting a D and D game. Yeah. yeah. So. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, and very soon, I'm actually going to check it real fast. Uh, you will be able to kickstart my first, uh, the new Son of Oak role playing game, Queers. Super Sentai LGBT powered superheroes. I cannot hype this game enough. We have an entire staff of just queer writers from all over the globe. We have some amazing, the art is phenomenal. And right now at sonofoak.com, you can download the free demo and it's a full game. Uh, so Jander, thank you very much. We did it. Hell yeah. Webs and Wevers is happening. Ogre no, arms. Ogre arms, that looks cute. Um, ogre arms. <laughs> Webs and wyverns powered by ogre, uh, ogre arms. Powered by ogre <laughs> arms. So, just real quick, September 14th, we are launching the Kickstarter. Please, please, I want this to be a success. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of it. Please download the demo now. It's free. It's amazing. Uh, Critical Bard, where can they find you? Uh, Yeah, you can find me all over uh, the, the globe. <laughs> And and Lucifer's pocket apparently um, at Critical Bard across all social media channels. I do way too much, uh, and that's uh, okay. You know that happens. That's a uh, right, exactly. That is a brand. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can catch me tomorrow for Realmsmith uh, on Realmsmith for our Curse of Strahd campaign. You can catch me Tuesday on Rock Punch ATL uh, as we celebrate the Kickstarter uh, beginning for uh, a Kickstarter that is launching on Tuesday with Maytan Press, uh, playing with Aki as well. Uh, On Wednesday, I'll come back to that one. Uh, On Friday, uh, I am on, I do way too much, y'all, Topo on Rock Punch ATL as well, which is a D&D campaign using the Islands of Sina Una uh, campaign setting, which is inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture. On Saturdays on my channel with Aki with Let's Get Wild Mount, and obviously Sundays is here, but we're going to be off for a, set with, for a bit, which is sad. Uh, but the big announcement, and I was given permission to say it, Wednesday, September 1st, on this channel, a certain Dice X Machina Critical Bar it might be a main cast member. What? <laughs> oh, snap. I love that. that is so cool. I'm so happy Dice X Machina is making a return. I'm so glad you're on it. And I will not say who I am yet. You will find out. Mm. And we'll we find out when something's posted about my character. Oh, at least you'll see the art. Uh, and yeah, very excited about this. Uh, can't wait to be here. So that's, that is me. That is me. I'm happy to be a part of that amazing group. I love it. Uh, we're going to throw it over to Aki now. Hi, everybody. I am Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixgini in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Aki. That's S-H-I-B-A-R-E-A-K-I. Uh, tomorrow, you can catch me over on Q Times doing the Klingon uh, portion of our Star Trek campaign, Blood of the Void, with Elisa Pearl, who's an amazing uh, storyteller. And then on Tuesday, like uh, like CB said, you can catch me over on Rock Punch ETL playing some uh, fun stuff that's been created by Mage Hand Press. Uh, and then, yeah, Saturday, I, I'm doing the thing with cb again uh i get to play with cb a lot these last couple of weeks and it's been awesome makes me very happy and let's get let's get wild now y'all we have no we have 
we have we we out of control, y'all. We're we're just out of control. It's 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 yeah, it's a no lot chill. of fun. You guys got no chill. We really know. seriously don't have any chill. My character just bought the, the werewolf character magical pants so that anytime we, he transforms, they won't shred and tear up and like yeah. You know, we didn't hit this unlock, but I am going to say my one of my favorite role playing games is the Werewolf the Apocalypse. And my favorite part of that is the Rite of Pants. <laughs> Moving right along, mostly Eric. Why, hello everyone. Uh, you can catch me mostly Eric on all the social medias, including Twitch, where I play video games sometimes. And then later tonight at seven thirty Pacific Standard Time, I'll be on Twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley, uh, where we for my show The Board and Barrel. Where we're gonna today we're uh, we're playing the board game Ghost Stories, which I'm excited about because I've wanted to play that for a while. Oh, that looks great. And last but certainly not least, R.I.P. Mika. Hi, I'm R.I.P. Mika. You can find me on Twitch Monday to Friday uh, at R.I.P. Mika or on any social media channel. Also, my birthday's tomorrow. Um, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Mika. Mika. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. To you. Hello, 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 you know. It won't matter if we're out of sync. Yeah, and uh, I I think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow for my birthday, so come on by and say hello. That sounds like a lovely yeah. way to spend a birthday, Mika. Yeah. Uh, quick show reminders, as Critical Bar already mentioned, we will be returning with Dice X Machina September 1st, so come check it out. It's going to be amazing. I can't believe CB's on it. That's going to be awesome. And also, check out Gen Con. We're not going to be there physically because pick your poison but we will be there in spirit and possibly digitally so check us out and get information at exclamation point gen con in the chat and before we call out this season of new canton academia we have one last school announcement bum 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 all right kids before we wrapped up this uh it's getting dark already it's like 12 30 or something just went down that's weird anyways we got some announcements to get through uh let me get those real quick we got one from five foot latina it says the athletic department reminds all student faculty and staff that beer is not good for grass uh at the baseball field uh not that your students are, are uh, old enough to be drinking. Maybe a beer tanker spilled on the field due to an earthquake. Who knows? Yeah, just like keep it. Like we all know, we were all kids one day. Uh, you know. And then Mel Palino says, "How dare you, Stephen?" And that's it. That's all we got for announcements. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. Mel Palino was these, so mad these about times. That. Mel Pamina was so mad about the uh, the cliffhanger that they gave us another twenty dollars over our goal. So, <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. Special thanks to Dom Zook for making this all possible. Dom is the man. Boo -boo, do Dom. We're going to be taking a couple weeks off. Get our, you know, take a vacation. You know, figure out how. You know, maybe send a couple books about living with a new demon in your Backpack life. around Europe just to find ourselves. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Um, rip. Rip. But yes, thank you all so much. I love you all very much. And we will see you next time on New Pantheon Academia. Let's hope Kwame didn't die. Bye. No.